Oh, oh no. Oh! Uh. Alrighty, we got Dan versus Mr. I didn't even pay attention, did I? Well, you know. Sure. Go with that. Okay. Yeah, we got Mr. Larry and we got Danny Lime. So far, Mr. Larry starting off with the uh, percent lead here. Um, I think he tried to use up smash to use it to use the invincibility to cut off spin dash. Did not seem to work there. So interesting. Interesting thing for Dan to keep build up for sure. Although I don't I'm sure. I'm pretty sure now that uh, Mr. Larry knows that that's not a safe option, he probably won't try to use it in that si for that situ specific situation much. Okay, dash attack pushing uh, Sonic up into the air a bit. Okay, yeah, spooky, spooky. Give me the uh, post Halloween spooks. <laughs> All right, good spin charge into the back air, back to follow up right there. Off uh, smash catches the roll right there. Dash check covering another roll right there. Dan getting back on stage using simple j simple jazz pushing uh, pushing their way a bit. Left tilt trying to cover a roll from Mr. Larry does not look for that. Instead, Mr. Larry looking for his uh, looking for a, a grab right there and he gets it. And now Dan's pressured at the corner could be putting. I was expecting more pressure. I was expecting like a more use of chef there. And Mr. Larry opted to just let him chill there. Up smash will seal the deal though, covering that back air landing. Round one ten percent. Although, for since that move's just solid, so it's gonna kill. Okay. Yep. Dan getting in there again with that. I think Larry's just using that move just uh, to mix up what his options are. But that's that's what it seems to me anyway. Or if he uh, reads an aerial approach, he'll get an up smash combo and combo into something back throw. That's not gonna be death quite yet. But now he's off stage. Using the invincibility of Parachute to get through the spring right there. Nice. Dash attack uh, cancels Sonic's animation there. Up throw. Oh, that's gonna do it, yeah. Alright, back throw. At the... near the platform now. Dan opting to... Dan starting to do, a, do more cross-ups here. Or, I'm noticing... Uh, I'm starting to notice... I'm noticing cross-ups from Dan here. Just in relevance to the platform. For that dash attack, once again, good anti air. Seen a lot of good anti air dash attacks from uh, Mr. Larry, actually. It's been really good for that, specifically. Repeating out hitboxes. Down throw. Now, Dan does have the lead here, so you can put more pressure on that down air. Does not get the spike hitbox, but that was, some pre that was definitely the pressure you would want. Good falling air dodge right there. Gets right past the up air. Now Larry has to make it back. Good option right there to opt to recover with a forward air, anticipating that forward smash. Alright, high recovery? Why did I expect a high recovery? Although Gaming Watch could probably do it. Probably could do it. He does have a very, very good down air, actually. The priority on that move is it's really good to land with, actually. Yeah. Dan is looking po poised right now, actually. But this could go either way. Larry almost getting that hit on the up, on the up smash, not even needing the not even needing to uh, try to get the invincibility on it. Just straight up be beating out a uh, spin dash just because up smash. A couple more up smashes. Up air puts the pressure. No spin dash option now, and that'll do it. All right, taking away all of his uh, aerial landings right there, forcing him to recover a bit uncomfortably, and that was uh, that was the way that Mr. Larry was able to seal it. So we're taking game one here. He took away the control, and he was able to control it from there. That, that's another way I can put it, yeah. Sure. Alright, we're gonna go right back. No need to switch stages. Dan, comfortable with this stage, okay? Let's do it. Um. Hmm. I think for the most part, Dan is capitalizing off of approaches, so it definitely benefits uh, Dan to. Uh, it definitely benefits Dan with his with uh, having good cross ups for uh, Mr. Larry right now, and just getting hits like this, like good spacing as well. Like not necessarily having to approach, but just like being in the zone 
to get punishes in there like that. That's definitely been working out for him so far in this game. Alright, Chef putting some aerial pressure, forcing him to land, gets the dash attack on the landing. Alright, dash attack, that's so fast! He can just get it out of uh, up smash. Another one, combos out of the Chef. Down smash does not cover the ledge, but probably could have if he had no invincibility. I, I think it hits the ledge? I'm not sure if uh, Game Watch's down smash hits the ledge, but it looks like it could. Alright, spin dash bursting right through that dash attack. Uh, Dan forced off stage. Even for sense right now, so either one could do it. And Mr. Larry gets that roll read, gets that first stock advantage in game two. We'll see how he runs with it here. And not much apparently. That backer just tr trading with the dash attack and having higher priority will seal it and not really put Sonic into too much instant. So 20% now. <coughs> I can think that. Uh, just based off of how Game Watch gets his combos, it could, it would really benefit. It really benefits Mr. Larry against Dan specifically, just because Dan, Dan, from what I've seen from his plays, uh, landing is definitely his uh, flaw. It's not necessarily a bad thing. He's able to mix it up very well, but it's just there's so many ways to cover it. And that's racking up the percent. Dan, Mr. Larry currently has that percent lead. Reading that spin dash in right there, reading that little hop. Putting on that spooky, spooky pressure of not doing anything but forcing you to shield because your options are limited right now on the ledge. Alright, oh, does not get the spin dash up air, up the up air. Too much uh, rage for that to work. Here it is, just right through that back air, forward air, beating out the forward smash. Really close right now at the ledge, back throw almost seals it, not quite. That tricky parachute movement is going to be enough to make it back to the ledge. That uh, up air putting him up. Resetting neutral. The story getting in there. Jab! Okay! And Game Watch is dumb. Sure. Uh, I forget what that thing is called. The air pressure thingy. I, I know it has a move, but uh, yeah. Uh, apparently that has kill, that has kill oh. potential with rage. So Mr. Larry will move.